I'm actually going to change the uh, turn signals on it today. And if I can, add some little other LED lights I bought. So these are the stock signals here. Nothing fancy. Just the typical yellow signals that people put on cars and everything else. Change these uh, to the cheap ones that they have. Okay, on. guys, uh, finally finished putting on the new turn signals for my Kimco K pipe. Uh, I guess a couple of things uh, you might run into uh, is uh, one uh, is if you get these little cheap ones off Amazon, like I think most people do. You have to notice that it has a very like different bracket here for the actual you know, uh, turf center of a hole here. So I uh, actually had to just, there was a hole here that I actually was able to use on the front here to actually mount the turf signals here, uh, obviously a little further in and forward than they were before, but it works out. Uh, so I guess, I guess this is a little warning, I don't know what type of current signals is by and I didn't have to put resistors in them uh, they seem to be working pretty good without the resistors in even though I didn't buy some I don't know if I heard people having problems with uh, the resistors uh, or the LEDs without resistors sometimes uh, but this one seems fine so same thing on the on the front on uh, the rear too as well though the rear was a uh, mounting was a lot easier and you could, the stock stuff was fine uh, the only thing is I did have to uh, get some longer wire to bridge between uh, you know, the stock wire so the power source and ground and the new uh, the new tail lights so, so yeah I finally got you know 1300 miles on this thing uh, you know, got the oil changed, uh, you know, new spark plug. It's only one, might as well just change it. It's so cheap. Um, unless you're just too cheap to do that, even. They said you could clean it, but it's just like, why? So I put a cool, good spark plug in there, just another NKG, that's what came in it. Uh, it's definitely running a lot better now since I've put the spark plug in and did the oil change uh, on it. I'm using a synthetic four stroke. Uh, on it, so in it, uh, so it seems to be definitely could tell the difference after that oil change there. It actually has a uh, warning indicator uh, for your uh, oil change here uh, on the odometer. Uh, you'll see the odometer start blinking, and that's just the uh, chemicals telling you you need an oil change. Uh, you can reset it by uh, uh, holding adjust and mode by your. Uh, at the same time and holding them for three seconds, I think is that in the manual, and that resets it, and then it will should go off at the next uh, interval for your next oil change. So, uh, definitely, uh, still like riding this thing. You know, I think obviously uh, kind of outgrowing it already, but you know, it's gonna give myself a good year riding this thing, hopefully, and you know, saving it doesn't blow up on me and. Should be very good. It's been very fun. Uh, you know, since I made my last video, you know, I've been doing a lot more like lane splitting and things like that, which you know, here in Los Angeles is pretty much a necessary thing to do on an air-cooled bike, uh, especially when you're in heavy traffic here. Uh, you're gonna blow your engine up to sit in traffic. So uh, this bike is definitely good for splitting lanes. That's one thing I noticed because uh, it is so thin. Uh, it's definitely really easy to get in there in between lanes, and uh, you know, uh, you, you can beat all the traffic, man. You know, I was on the sunset the other day. You know, I'll show you guys some video of that, and just it's just so backed up. You know, you just have to split lane after lane. You're just splitting the whole way, just because it would take you forever. I mean, I've gone, you know, road routes I've gone before where I just like, man, I just don't want to go there on rush hour because it's going to be a terrible tri trip in a car, but. You know what, on a motorcycle, or a scooter, or a moped, or whatever, it was on two wheels, bicycle, 
uh, you don't have that at Piedmont. You know, you can just uh, go on through and, you know, they find a legalized uh, lane splitting out here, which is, you know, it never was truly illegal, but, you know, they finally actually, you know, statutized it and uh, made it uh, the real deal. So, uh, definitely a good bike for uh, uh, splitting lanes because it's, you know, so small and you know, peppy. You know, obviously you want to be, you know, you put yourself at more risk splitting lanes, but they're also, you know, filtering through traffic. And you might find yourself on some nice pieces of oil.